Let me go wash the bathroom. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while. Maybe not for you guys, but for me it's been a while. The last time I filmed a video in general was in June and now it's November. You guys know my life been hectic, you guys know I've been I've been like in the month of June I basically like filmed a lot of videos ahead of time. So I'm back filming because I don't have any more videos in my bank basically so that's why I'm back filming videos anyways I have a lot of makeup that I kind of build up throughout the months that I really want to like dip into and like show you guys yeah I haven't filmed since June so that's why maybe you gotta guess you guys are gonna see like I'm a bit like weird in the video yeah I'm gonna look weird like I'm sure I look weird in the video I don't know what I'm doing but in the end, even my eye look, like, I like it, but I feel like I could have done a better job. But maybe that's just because I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long, like, really, like, with eyeshadows. Like, I wore makeup, but eyeshadow, not, I don't do that every day, you know? This video is going to be a full face makeup tutorial. So I did the shadows, I did my face, I did my lips, everything is on the video. I just wanted to let you guys know I created this look with... The ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. Um, during the summer, or actually after the summer, like fall, you know, fall, I splurged and I bought like five or six palettes, I think five palettes uh, at ColourPop on the website. They had a 20% off or something like that. And it's my first time buying online, so I didn't know what to expect. It came like pretty fast, um, about a week and a half after. Mind you, I live in Canada, so it takes a bit longer. Then when you're in the states apparently in the states it takes like a couple days but for me it took like at least a week a week and a half 10 days about before i got it in the mail and yeah so it was my first time using ColourPop. you guys are gonna see how i feel about it especially at the end you guys want to see how i feel about it if i like it if i don't like it for me using purples is different i don't really like using purple shadows um only because i don't really like the color if that makes sense i don't i don't i don't really dim it to purples i do it sometimes just to like as an accent but for me the whole a whole look with purples it's really different and yeah if you guys want to stick around and just see how i created this look just keep on watching okay guys so we're just gonna get started so as you can see i already have my brows on i already put a bit of concealer on my lids just to have some kind of like base yeah so it's gonna be a full tutorial basically i'm gonna try to make that work as you guys know i haven't filmed since june i think yeah since june so i don't know how that's gonna go it's probably gonna be like really hard to edit but that's how it's gonna be um yeah so first i'm gonna put tape on the side because i'm really looking for some kind of like cut eye effect um and i really want it to be really really sharp so i'm just gonna use like some tape so we're just gonna put it on the edge and out apart I always try to align it with the, my brow tail right here this this like that I know it's pretty much like the same because my brow is pretty much and at the same place on my face so that's the only way I can tell like both eyes are gonna be pretty similar so just so you guys know I'm gonna use my it's my pleasure palette um, I have a bunch I bought a bunch of Colourpop palettes uh, about a month two months ago I don't remember but I just wanted to start with this one because I already have a look in mine it basically looks like this see it's so beautiful it's my first time using ColourPop so I don't know how it's gonna go I hope it goes well but from what I see like they're pretty pigmented and easy to blend so we'll see how that goes but you guys know me um, if something doesn't blend right if the pigment is not there I get pissed off basically so basically since there's no like crease color in this palette i'm just gonna use my bronzer that i'm gonna use today so you can use whatever bronzer you guys use as a transition color so me today i'm gonna use my bobby brown so i'm just gonna put this in on the crease and i'm gonna use my big blending brush which is the sephora one 
This one is number 27. It's called Pro, Be Pro Blending. If you guys ever are ever looking for a really good blending brush, it is expensive. I think it was like 45 bucks. Canadian, I want to say. So it's probably like around $30 US. Because I need some kind of transition color also since we have the concealer. You kind of want it to kind of set, I guess. It's already set, but sometimes it still stays tacky. Oh. And all the shades we're gonna put after are gonna look well blended. It's gonna be easy to blend, so that's why. You can put it all over if you like. But I mean, it's really more here. That's important. So. Put a little blend your crease, put it all over just so you have a base and a transition color. And that is all. That's all you need. You don't really need it to be super pigmented. Oh yeah, excuse my hair. I'm gonna do it after for the final result. So you just want it to look something like this, basically. So you can put bronzer aside, we don't need it for now. Blending brush too. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna take my concealer and do like some kind of a cut crease. Um, so coming from the inside, going all the way to the outside and wing it out. For this, I'm gonna use the same concealer. I'm gonna use my favorite brush. And then I start carving out my wing. Well, it's really up to you to where you wanna stop. It's really, you can kind of play with your eye shape. If you want it to be, basically if it goes higher, your arm will be more round. If it goes lower, it'll be more like, more like a cut eye. I mean, I try to go like more in the middle. So I'll probably cut my crease like where, about where it folds, maybe a little bit higher. But that's for me because I like when my eye shape is like that. Okay, so here, this is just to mop it out. I'm gonna change brushes. I'm gonna take a pencil brush. Well, actually not a pencil brush, more like a lip kind of brush. So, so we can make it more precise. Okay, so you basically want your eye to look something like this. So as you can see, it's like going like this into a cut eye. It's not perfect, obviously, but this is just like kind of like drawing a map for you guys. So you know where to put the eyeshadow right after. So now we're gonna dip into our palette of the day. So like I said, we're gonna use my It's My Pleasure palette by Colourpop. Uh, it's my first time using Colourpop. I don't know how it's gonna go, so don't shoot me. It doesn't go as well. Basically, I'm gonna use three shadows. I'm kind of trying to do like some kind of um, gradient, I guess. That's how I'm gonna call it. Um, so first, in the inner corner, I'm gonna use Earth Shine, which is uh, this shadow here. If you guys can see well, it's really, really frosty. So I'm just gonna use my like a packing brush, I guess. Fine one. Um, do, 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 do. You guys know I really like smudging, uh, smudge brushes like this because it really packs it on, packs on the color. So I'm gonna use this to pack on the color in the inner corner. So I just wanna take a little bit like this. And just pack it on in the inner corner. Oh, it's nice. I didn't think it would be that pink. So 
So now in the middle part, we're going to use um, Fan Fiction, which is this shade here, the pink one. Um, there's no frost, it's really a matte color, there's nothing on it. So I'm going to get another packing brush like this. Um, they call it Spodge Brushes, if you guys are ever looking for uh, brushes to really pack on the, sh the shade because I find like eyeshadow brushes don't really work well so I always go with a smudge brush because it's really meant to like pack on and like really smudge it um, that's why I use this whenever I want to pack on a color that's why you guys probably see that like when I do eyeshadow looks it's really like more vibrant I guess even with shadows that I have difficulty sometimes it really packs on the color which I like so this shade is going in the middle But one thing you have to keep in mind when you're using a smudge brush, there will be fallout for sure. So for now, we're just placing the shadows, we're not blending or anything like that. This shade I thought was going to be a bit more pink, I guess. Maybe I'll mix it with this after, we'll see. For now, I'm just going to do this and see how it goes. See after when I'm done. This one is going to be really in the middle, like this. I'm going to do both eyes. Just like this. Okay. And then next, I'm going to take another smudging brush or anything you have um, at this point. Um, I have a lot because. That's what I love. And we're gonna put the shade Bare Minimum, which is this one, in the outer corner. I don't really like the middle shade, to be honest. I'm gonna put this on top of the same brush it doesn't matter so I'm gonna put this name is kitten fish this one here just to make it a little bit lighter yeah that's better like this so I'm gonna go back to the first shade I'm gonna start blending in between so I'm taking the first one So basically what I did, I go into the first shade, which was Earth Shine, and I'm just going to put it all over because I really don't like that middle shade. Um, I find it's just... So I'm just going from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner, like this, and just put it all over that middle shade that was uh, Fun Fiction and Kitten Fish. Sometimes I don't like the shade, I don't like the way it's like blending together and like the shade pattern basically and then I'm going back into bare minimum and smoking out the outer corner and just blending everything together and also what I did I took a angle brush I went into earth shine and I kind of draw a line on top here all the way just like this so I show it something like this I'm gonna add a little bit of Mr. Sandman in the inner corner
I'm just going to remove the tape. I'm actually not sure if I like it or not. It's, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just going to continue. Um, so I'm going to do my face now. So as a primer, I'm going to use my Milk Hydro Grip primer yes i'm still in love with it i think it's still one of the best primers i have used it's really really good especially now because my skin like it's really cold outside so my skin is like it's not breaking out um that much because you can see that like, it break out but like i have a like a big patch here which is always flaking so this primer really really helps like my foundation just glides on so today i'm just gonna use my maybelline Martin poreless foundation and i'm gonna use a foundation brush to blend everything This one doesn't give me a lot of coverage, so I think I should mix it. I'm gonna add another same coat, basically, mostly like in my problems, problem areas, like here. I don't know how. For concealer, I'm just going to use my Can't Stop One Stop Concealer by NYX. Um, I'm in the color Golden Honey. I'm just going to use a dome brush to blend it out. So we're gonna go back to my Bobbi Brown bronzer. I'm just gonna bronze my face a little bit. Um, lately, I've been using like some kind of like um, angle brush like this, and it's really flimsy. As kids can see, it's really like it's not dense. It gives me more of a blended look. Anyways, so that's what I like for now. So we're gonna set the under eyes, my concealer basically, because I kind of forgot. <laughs> so I'm using my, what am I using? Where's the lid? Uh, NYS Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powder in banana. Uh, this powder is really, really good. At first, when I, when I first used it, I was like, oh, it's nice. But I used it all summer long. And let me tell you, my skin is smooth it doesn't crack or anything it keeps my eyes bright in. it doesn't really do much for like the oils and stuff like that but like it keeps everything so smooth so so smooth So right now I'm just basically setting my face and I just set everywhere with this powder like I don't mind even if it's a banana powder I don't only put it under my eyes I put it everywhere I don't really mind and I put it on my nose everywhere you can see how smooth I look and then I'm just gonna carve my cheeks also with the same powder
So now we're gonna go back to the eyes and work there. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna put a black liner. This one's by L'Oreal. I don't even know if it still exists. It's carbon black, it's extra intense liquid pencil eyeliner in carbon black. Um, so I'm trying to line my waterline. My eyes are really, really sensitive. So for me to do this, it's like... Ooh. Anyways, um, yeah. So next, we're gonna smoke out the lower lash lines. So we're gonna go back into the palette. And I'm gonna use... Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna use an ankle brush, I guess. And I'm gonna go into the shade Sleeper. This one here. To smoke out the lower lash line. Take a small blend brush like this, and I'm just gonna blend. So for my mascara, I'm gonna use my telescopic. I'm just gonna take off my this zero four. I have a dry patch. So for highlight, I'm just gonna use whatever I've been using lately, which is my Becca highlight. I'm just gonna use a big blending brush like this. Put on my nose, bridge. And then the highest point here. And then I'm gonna use my Amrezi highlight. This one, you guys seen it already before. It's really bright. And I'm gonna use it on top of the other one. It's already three. I don't really want it to be blinding, but I want you guys to see it. So that's why, like, I'm using this one, but. So for my lips, I'm going to do Rimmel Lip Liner. So after I'm using my MAC lipstick in Please Me, I never really use this one, but it's kind of pinkish. So, anyways, I just dab it on. So, just like this. And then on top, I'm gonna put my butter glass in tiramisu by NYX. So I'm gonna go and put on some lashes and do my hair and I'll be back. So this is a finished look, this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just gonna do a little bit of close-up so you guys can see how it looks. Mm -hmm. All smoked out with the lashes, the lips, kind of all goes together. Yeah, so this palette, it's my pleasure. Honestly, it's my first time using ColourPop, you guys know that. 
um, I was just I'm just not sure right now if I like it or not like the formulas and everything you can tell it's really like if I didn't buy it online I would probably see it at the drugstore that's for sure I mean for the price also it was $12 for the price point it's like really really good uh, you can tell like the frosty shade like this they have a lot of pigment you guys can tell um there's fallout it's not just my brush there is fallout because when i pick up it kind of like has some kickback it works pretty well like the blending is like really easy uh, in between the shades um you guys saw i had a bit of trouble in the middle it's just i didn't like the shade it's not i didn't it's not that i didn't like the shadow i didn't like the shade i didn't like like the shade together basically i didn't like the shade I didn't like the shade Urchine mixed with fan fiction. I didn't think it get, went well together, so that's why I try to like put this one on top. And even with this, I didn't like it together, so that's why I just blended this all the way across my eye, and I just blended this and this without a corner. If that makes sense to you guys, it's not that I don't like the the shadows itself. Like you guys saw, once I applied it, it was really really. Um, like pigmented it was easy to blend and everything is just i didn't like the color pattern it was giving me with my skin tone uh purple is not my favorite color maybe that's why i'm kind of like i don't know if i like it or not maybe that's just what it is honestly purple is not my favorite color i never do purple like purple or anything but that being said i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really hope you guys will come back and watch my other videos because i'm gonna try and do more almost like only makeup tutorials because that's what I like that's what I love to do so might as well just do what I love to do I'm gonna insert maybe some reviews here and there because I do buy new products and might as well just do reviews about them and yeah that's about it if you're new don't forget to subscribe before you leave don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment down below because I love answering you guys comments and I'll see you next time guys bye